answer the burning question this summer. How do you make the best cup of iced coffee and do it quick? Here's the guy that should know, Gregory. Hello. You're like the hottest guy in coffee in New York City right now. Five stores now in the city. Yes. The main question I want to know before we get started is, why can't I just pour my hot coffee from the pot in the morning over ice and be done with it? Everybody says that's a no-no. Well, number one, it's probably not going to taste very good. Allowing coffee to cool slowly you get an unwanted amount of acid buildup. It doesn't really taste very favorable in your cup of coffee. You want to cool it instantly if that's the way you want to do it. How do you guys do it here? You do it two ways. Number one, the long way, the way that takes 12 plus hours. Right. What's that? That's the toddy method. 12 hour steep period overnight on a coarse grind, letting it sit in cold water for 12 hours. Strain it after 12 hours and you're good to go. You've got your iced coffee concentrate. Sometimes I just can't wait. I don't have time to do that 12 hours. I need it now. I need it intravenously, Gregory. Most of us do. Most All of right. us do. All right, <laughs> so you've got a simpler system that's quick. What is yes. that? We really love the AeroPress. Um, it's a really simple way of brewing uh, brewing hot or iced coffee. It'll allow you to make iced coffee within two minutes. Two minutes? Two minutes. That I can live with. First up, ingredients. What, coffee and water, how much of each? Yes, two very important pieces to making <laughs> right. iced coffee are coffee and water. We use 15 grams of coffee every time we're making any kind of coffee on the AeroPress. Everything is measured out. Scales are super important and make sure that you're gonna get the exact amount of coffee you want every single time. So first I want to preheat my AeroPress would be just by adding hot water into it just to make this plastic a little bit warm. Yep. Then I'm going to add my 15 grams of medium ground coffee into this AeroPress. It all is about agitation and how we're going to extract this coffee. So coffee first, then water. Agitation. Hot water. What yes. temperature? So we look for right around 200 degrees of water. At home, uh, I would recommend a boil and then about 30 seconds off boil, you'll be right at uh, 200 degrees. Now the hot water is ready to go. So I'm all prepped here on top of my scale. I want to measure out four ounces of hot water. Try and give it a nice slow pour. As soon as I start pouring, you engage your timer. Once I get to 20 seconds, then I want to give three nice stirs to agitate the grind. Now I got to put my cover on and apply the filter. We here are using a metal disc filter. Cover that right there. Looks like a science experiment from like third grade. It is. <laughs> right? It's fun, but it really does make a great cup of coffee. We want to press the hot water, the hot coffee right over the ice, so I want to measure out four ounces of ice. Minute 31, what's that one second going to do? Minute 31, I just <laughs> ran over, <laughs> so now that uh, I'm ready to press, I'm going to flip this, and I want to do a nice 30 second press. You've got yours, I've got mine. Two Cheers. minutes beats 12 hours, but will this keep me awake 12 hours? It might. That's what I need. Thanks, Greg.